Have you ever wanted to try changing builds to a new weapon, but you weren't sure what the stats should be like, and you weren't sure if you're going to like the build, and you weren't really positive about using a Laurel tier to change and respec into the new build? Then in this video, I'm going to help you with ways to back up your save game so that you can do anything and then restore the backup after you kind of played around and tested a new thing without actually spending or losing anything on your actual backup save game. I'm also going to show you access to a tool where you can duplicate your save game so that you can have multiple of the same character and then you just kind of respec it into different ways for different ways you want to play the game. So let's start by showing you where your save game is installed. So on your main hard drive on your computer, the one with the Windows icon most likely, you're going to go in there and then you're going to go into a folder called Users. You're going to open up this one and there will be one called User PC or it might even have your name in particular, but this is the one we're going to open. Now we need to go to a folder that's actually hidden. It's called App Data, but to access it, you can actually just click at the top over here where the, the, like the names are. You just click over here and then you will type here with a slash and then you'll type App data just like i have over here on the screen and when you press enter this will go and open up that folder then you can go open up the folder called roaming and then there is a folder here called elden ring and then inside this elden ring there'll be another folder here with a bunch of numbers you can go into this folder with all the numbers and you'll see there is this file over here that is our save game there's a few backups here of this one that's just above it which you don't really need to focus i those are generally for if your game crashes it's kind of checkpoints your lost thing that you set at a lost site of grace so what we're going to do is copy the save game file, the one that we have selected, and put it into a new place. Now you want to copy, you don't want to cut it, you still want it in the original Elden Ring folder. Now we've successfully made a backup of this file. Now this is already a way to back up your save game just before you change your build or anything. So you can now go in the game and go experiment with a new build, change something, respec, and test it out. And if you don't like it, all you have to do is replace this icon or the file on the desktop and put it back in this Elden Ring folder over here to add your original save game back. But if you instead want a duplicate of your save game, you can see here I have ConCon here twice, both level 160, both the exact same playtime. Now this you're going to need a special application for. I've linked this in the description down below. This is called Elden Ring Save Copy. And you're going to click this button over here to download this application. So I've downloaded the application and I've put it on my desktop and I'm going to show you how to use it now. So do keep in mind, you do need the backup on your desktop as well as the Elden Ring save file in its normal place at the same time. And when you open up this application, there will be a source which you will browse to. And this will be the one that is on your desktop. This is the one where you're copying from. And then the, lo the, the bottom one destination is where you're copying to. So we're going to navigate to the desktop here and we're going to select the first one here, which is on my desktop. And this is going to be our source and we're going to open this. You'll see it will now load names that we can copy from on the actual app. But first, we got to go into the destination one, the one below, and we're going to select the one that is in the Elden Ring save game folder, which is, of course, on your your like main hard drive under users and then user PC or whatever your PC is called. And then app data again, which you can obviously click at the top here, type slash app data, hit enter go into the folder called roaming and then go into Elden Ring, go into the folder with all the numbers and you'll see there's only one file here you can select and you're going to open this one. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to copy a character from the one on the desktop to the one that's in our save game. So we're going to copy from here and we're going to copy my my ConCon character here. You can see we have three characters or three save games over here. We're going to copy ConCon over and we're going to replace it into one of the 10 slots over here. So you'll see all the names already here. If you put it over uh, like a, a name that's already there, for example, if I put ConCon over ConCon, I'm going to kind of overwrite it and delete the original, but I'm going to put it in slot two over here. So what this is going to do is going to have, I'm going to have two ConCon like save games, as you can see in the game. All you do is click the copy, the big green button, and then this is done automatically. Then you can close all those different things, go in your game and hit load game and you'll see all your different save game files are ready to go over here for whatever you want to do with them. It's a good idea to actually make like one save where you try to collect everything, you collect all the resources and by the time you're ready to like make save games, you can just use that one as a basis and then every single time you want to try different builds, you can use all your upgrade materials on those weapons that you're using. And this is what I've been doing with all of my build videos so far. I hope this guide was something that you were looking for and I hope it helped and thank you so much for watching.